y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the dark basement on this beautiful, almost summer day. But we are here for season two, episode 14 of Lucifer, and he has made like Casper. He has ghosted. He's ghosted. Did he ghost on everybody or only on Chloe? Because I can't see Maze going, yeah, dude, you sacrificed yourself. You almost died to save this woman and you're just gonna leave her because you're angry about how she came into your life. I don't know if Maze knows. <laughs> so I'm thinking he also ghosted on Maze. Amenadale, maybe. Mom, we know he's not talking to. Does he still talk to Linda though? And the fact that Dr. Linda was there for the whole crazy, let's get the formula scheme was a delight. <laughs> but now we're up to episode 14, Candy Morningstar. I can't even begin to think. I can begin to think. That's the thing. I can think of so many things Candy Morningstar means. I know. I'm excited to find out and I'm so glad that you are here with me for this adventure. So I'm going to get under the cozy blanket, not because it's cold, only because it's cozy. And it felt to me, it felt to me like this is going to be a, um, amaretto sour afternoon i would love to know what you're drinking as well and also if you haven't already hit subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and also full episode watch along is available on patreon i think you all know that by now but i'm just gonna remind you yeah are you ready i'm ready so let's get to it coward so who's, who's running Lux in the meantime? How dare you walk out on me? I'm a goddess. Yes, you are. Then why did my son abandon me? Do you know that I went to hell for him? I even helped save his scrawny human, who I much prefer dead. This is getting weird. <laughs> I mean, a mother has knees. Don't you agree? Not when you put it that way. <laughs> I gotta go. Look, I'm all about mommy daddy play, but there's mommy daddy play, and then there's mommy daddy play. I suck to be on the outs with Lucifer. He hates it when people manipulate him. I didn't. At least not like his father. True, but you're here, and the big guy's not. Sorry, this is delicious. Lucifer is plotting his revenge as we speak. <laughs> okay, I got distracted by my drink to hear what May says. <laughs> Love the vibe you got going here. It's very Godfather. Are you sure about this? It's not gonna go cheap. <laughs> Worth every penny. Still no sign of Lucifer? No emails, no calls, nothing. What does your roommate say, Chloe? What does your roommate say? He's your partner. He should have told you he was leaving. Whatever. It's been two weeks. I'm over it. Wait, wait. Is Dan now Chloe's partner now? The guy's wallet and ID hasn't been touched. His car's still here. I'm thinking Ash was a club goer. I think he played in a band. Callous fingers. Good catch. Well, yeah. And this. <laughs> Looks like the band <laughs> lost their front man. <laughs> the band's over. We're screwed. So Ash was staying here? He was just crashing on the couch the last couple weeks. He's been in a funk since his divorce. It was bad. Oh. Oh. You should talk to Courtney. Ash's ex. Of course her name is Courtney. Of course her name is Courtney. She was arrested for domestic abuse two years ago. Charges were dropped. Detective! What? What? You're okay. What? Well, yes, of course I'm okay. That was so silly. Lucifer, I was really, really worried about you. Shh. Hold that thought. I have news. You just, you go AWOL for two weeks and then you have the nerve to come here and shush me? Yeah. Yes, I'm serious explaining to Dan, man. Oh, Dan, Dan, you're not part of that. 
<laughs> Unless Dan's a part of this. Wait, what? <laughs> He did not. Candy, darling, I told you to wait in the car. But it's so stuffy in there. It's a convertible. Plus, I wanted to show your police friends just how generous my honey is. <laughs> <laughs> he paid that sketchy diamond guy a ginormous pile of cash for it. Well. <laughs> Meet Candy Morningstar, my wife. You motherfucker. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> See, I know it might be a tad surprising. No, why would I be surprised? I can't explain. No, no need. I'm happy for you, really. Do you mind? Sorry. Is this woman going to die? Is she going to die? What horrible is this going to befall this woman for being married to Lucifer? But I am sorry. I should have told you that I needed time off. This isn't about vacation hours. This isn't about time cards, Lucifer. This... How could you just... I thought we were... I am so angry now. <laughs> I thought we were friends. More than friends. More than friends. Yes. Friends. That's exactly what we are. Just friends. This is Lucifer being Lucifer instead of having a conversation about how I just want to be friends. Instead, I'm going to go marry a stranger. Right. This is how he puts that together. This is how Lucifer Real classy. puts that. This is. Okay. Think they like me? No. What's not to like? <laughs> She made a double. She should have made a double. She's Sid. All she wanted was to crush Ash's soul. <laughs> Where were you the night of Ash's death? The same place I am every night. Work. You want to know what Ash should say about work? The world will provide that you know who did. Me. Well, that it was Ash. He was the selfish, childish one. I completely understand. <laughs> I was with an immature partner and it was mad at It's him. crazy, Mickey. Yeah, wanted to kill him. <laughs> at least slap him. You know, if Chloe let it fly, she would have slapped shit out of this man. But I paid for my mistakes, literally. What do you mean? I gave him lots of money. I agreed to sit down with the divorce mediator and the guy was completely biased against me. I think him and Ash set up some sort of shady side deal. Oh, this is an interesting angle. Then why was he couch surfing? Where'd the money go? <laughs> Maybe the mediator took it. Like I said, the guy's a crook. Is his name Lucifer Morningstar? <laughs> it looks like they were getting frozen yogurt to celebrate. Frozen. Hashtag Mrs. Lucifer. Hashtag yogurt to celebrate. He specifically told me to watch over Chloe after everything that we did to save her. I don't, I don't understand. He's flipping two great big, huge, long middle fingers at Pops is what he's doing. Lucifer's concocting a plan. Mm-hmm. Poor Candy. Poor Candy. Courtney's been pointing pretty hard at their divorce mediator, but I don't know. Check it out. Check it out. A guy named Anthony A. has got a clean record and nothing but Courtney's word points to him. Uh, detective, a word. You're still here? Shouldn't yeah, why are you there? <laughs> oh, look, it's Mannequin here. Well, I don't know his name, but he's in the other photo, too. See? Right there. <gasps> She's right, it's him. Um, well, look, you go, Candy. Right, I'm going to call Candy a cab, and then you and I can get down to brass tax, yes? Hmm. Well, actually, come to think of it, who watches over Trixie? Oh, no. Besides, I hear this case involves a band. No. Lucky for you, I bring my much-needed musical expertise. No. Did you know he plays piano? Like, better than Elton Tom. What's your favorite band, then? Hmm? <laughs> the Bangles, M-Sync, <laughs> Right Said Fred. Don't Talk, Just Kiss. I love that song. What about our partnership? Our partnership ended when you ghosted me and the entire department. You can't just march back in here like nothing's wrong. You can't just grab what you want when you want. 
You let me down, Lucifer. I mean, what good is a partner if I can't depend on you? That trust is broken. I don't need you anymore. Well, surely you don't mean that. I do. You can go. I suppose we can discuss that another time. Oh, no, no. There's no need for censoring, Doctor. <laughs> Candy and I have no secrets. Oh, why? And how are you coping since your travels? Any warning signs of lasting trauma? Denial? Rash decisions? <laughs> um, no. No, I think I've thought through everything quite carefully. <laughs> I mean, he clearly expected me to zig, and so I zagged. And does Chloe know that you've zagged Candy? <laughs> yes, she just fired me. Shocking. <laughs> Why return to Chloe at all? I mean, I tried to leave, but I just felt that I'd missed my work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was fired once. But you know what I did? I just kept showing up and made myself expandable. Oh, no. Indispensable? No, expandable. I got a boob job and it totally expanded my horizons. Yes, well done, Candy. I think I know exactly how to get back on the case. No, you don't. Of course, I wish I'd talked to you earlier. Save myself a trip. I know you're there. I'm a cop, Lucifer. You think I don't know when I'm being followed? Just I'm trying to put things back the way they were, Dan. You can't, Pumpkin. That is a vase that will always be crooked. You expect me to let you go undercover with your stripper wife. Right, first of all, she's an exotic dancer. Stripper is pejorative. Let me think about that. No. Uh, detective, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were prejudiced against exotic dancers. Okay, we're done here. Goodbye. You're Lucifer's mom? Oh my gosh, you look amazing. Borrowed body, pumpkin. Oh, shame he kept you hidden. Goodbye. I hate secrets. <laughs> what do we think of Candy? Well, I think she's perfect for Lucifer. Look, I know Lucifer better than anyone. Okay, and he does this sometimes. He disappears, does stupid, impulsive things. But he always comes back around, Chloe. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't fix the hurt. But he did get you an in with that mediator. Yeah, well, I don't care. There's no way I'm letting him and his exotic dancer wife on my case, or any case. Maybe you and Lucifer need a mediator. <sighs> Just saying. This is when, when I want characters to behave how I would behave. Mrs. Morningstar. Oh, no, no, no. You can call me Candy. Oh, this was the plan. Oh, this was the plan. <laughs> We've been through a lot in that time, and I say that we work brilliantly together, don't we, sweetie? <laughs> I mean, thank God this bod is made for pure sex because clearly it's all he cares about. I'm tired. Uh, Lucifer, would you like to respond? I've been through hell recently. True torment, my greatest fears realized. Lucifer, I am the one who almost died. Yes, I know. That is what I'm talking about. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. I almost believe you care. Have you ever known me to lie? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Fair. Honest. Fair. No. Why don't we take five? <laughs> That's weird how this looks wrong on her. This looks so wrong. You see, he has a lot of money. And so if you were to swing things my way, you're really something. But that would be crossing a line. And I can't do things like that. Why not? You did with Ash Corrigan. Jeez, Lucifer! Didn't pill for enough money from Ash's ex. Had to go and kill Ash to get the rest of the spoils. Whoa! Oh, this is when we're going to this part of the investigation. <laughs> Ash, then what did you want to accomplish, Anthony? 
I wanted the Heavy Willies to be the hugest band ever. Okay, yeah, yes, I helped Ash in the divorce and I got him all Courtney's money, but there was no side deal because I did it for free. I did it for the band. I did it for the music. So where did the money go? I was the manager. At least Ash promised me. Maybe I could be the manager someday. Ash and I came up with a plan. Wow! <laughs> Buy all the albums himself using his wow. ex money to inflate sales. Wow! The bassist? Why were they fighting? When weren't they fighting? I thought that Ash was going to kick Marla out of the band that night after the gig, so I went down there to see how it went down. That's when I saw the police standing there across the street. What comes next for you two lovebirds? Did he say anything about, um, I don't know, matricide? <laughs> no, I think the mattress in the penthouse is pretty new. <laughs> oh, come on, Candy. I know you two have some kind of plan. Look at you manipulating, Mom. Scheming, screaming. I want you to know, I got Lucifer's back. And yours. It's, you're my mom now, too. We're family! <laughs> She's a sinister genius. <laughs> Candy was an insipid dullard, but she may be the most formidable opponent I've ever faced. So he really just married this pretty mouth breather because he likes her? Please. Only a deeply damaged soul would make such a poor choice. <laughs> Unless he really is that far gone. Then that would mean that my son is really and truly broken. I have thoughts and I'm saying this to myself hoping I keep this thought. How'd you get the lead? I got in to see the mediator. Lucifer did a thing. Yes! I knew you guys would patch things up. Nope, not even close. To me, Marla reads like a troublemaker, not a killer. Well, unless you count crimes against fashion. Yikes. <laughs> fashion. Crimes against fashion. Remember those marks on Ash's head? You think they came from the knobs on Marla's base? Sure looks like Tetris to me. OK, maybe Marla's no girl. We got to find her and find that instrument. They didn't tell the band members, don't leave town until we tell you to. Yeah, I spoke to her roommate. She said Marla's here somewhere. Yeah. Okay, bye. Is Marla doing a solo act already? Or is the band still playing? Yo, my friends, we got a special guest tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucifer Morningstar! Why? <laughs> Ow! How so quick? How so quick? Hello. This next song is for a, uh, a special someone. A woman who says she doesn't need me anymore. Well, I say she's wrong. And I'm going to prove just what I'm willing to do. It's more than her needing you. She needs to also want you, Lucifer. Close your eyes. And give me a hand, darling. Yes, this crowd looks like an eternal flame crowd. <laughs> Is this burning? burning. Eternal flame? <laughs> Shines through the rain. Wouldn't work on me, though. This would not work on me. Too bad. Too late. <laughs> the woman I'm singing for is... Because you're still married. And her name is Marla. Has anyone seen Marla? We're looking for someone called Marla. Ah, oh, there she is, Marla. Bring her to the front. Lucifer wasn't there when they first questioned the band, right? If I remember correctly. I can't remember now. That better not be Marla's bass. It's already been processed and I've written you a song. Ready? On the bass. Devil, it makes sense. Don't overthink it. <laughs> I found traces of Ash's blood on the tuning knobs. 
What, so Marla's the killer? Murder solved. At least that's the murder weapon. You're not ignoring Chloe, you're protecting her because she had no choice. So I gave it back to her. By holding up a shield made of candy. <laughs> you should at least explain some of this to mom, she's upset. Good. <laughs> For you, she faced her greatest fears all because she loves you. Oh, okay. Yes, she hurt you. But she was just doing what she thought was best for you. And from what you just told me, I'm quite sure you can relate to that. Bam! Truth bomb! What more does it take? How come you didn't tell us Ash wanted to kick you out of the band? Did she know? You didn't know that? <laughs> I'm sorry. He was going to kick me out? Even if I'd known, I wouldn't have hurt him. Yeah, proof. Actually, check Wobble. He was live posting stuff of us all night. Wobble, we've mentioned Wobble again. There's a bunch more. Looks like they cover the time of death. Then how did Ash's blood get all over your base? Mm-hmm. And you don't have your base regularly? That's Doug, our drummer. That's what you used for your livelihood. Why would you not keep track of your base if that's what you used to make part of your livelihood? Doug Kennedy, LAPD. It's candy. Darling, I can't talk now. I'm about to catch a killer. Oh, jeez. Seriously? Gonna have to call you back. Go. But Chloe's right there. But Chloe's right there, dude. Let him go, Dad. You're not exactly quiet. Stay back. <laughs> this is all Ash's fault. Okay. Trying to. Uh, uh, and then Ash said he was gonna uh, go solo. He was gonna bail on all of us. Did the mediator know this? No, you care about your partner, you drop your gun now! Oh, God, you may as well just yank the sucker then, Dougie, because, I mean, she said as much yourself. Wait, what the hell's going on? Therapy. There's some therapy going on right now. Don't listen to him, Doug. No, go on, go on, go on, yank yeah, yeah. it's your last wank. <laughs> you okay? I think so. Yeah, because you shot me. <laughs> Impressive marksmanship. Actually, I was aiming for you. He's in the other room giving a statement. Don't worry, he's fine. Did you save him? Thank you. Oh. Oh. This hey. job is way too dangerous. I begged him to quit, but no. My hubby's all about his work. Oh my God, it's detective this and detective that. Working with you means so much to him. Well, he's got a strange way of showing it. Well, duh. Dude's totally messed up. But then you probably know that, huh? Because you're. Kind of the reason why? Not the sole reason. Did you just go through a super banana situation? I went through a lot, and um, and I, I guess he did too. Right, statement given. He needs to do more groveling, Chloe. He needs to do more groveling. Candy, darling, the detective's not a big fan of PDA. I'm just glad she's here for you. See you tomorrow at the precinct. Despite your callous manipulations, maybe you were well-intentioned somewhere deep. Perhaps that counts for something. Since I escaped hell, all I've wanted is to get back to the Silver City, to reunite our family. Just let it go, Mum. Been there, done that, big fall. But that's just it. Why do you think you lost that fight? Because I was young, woefully foolish and... Unarmed? You know that if you had possessed the Flaming Sword, the weapon that can cut through anything, even the gates of heaven itself. This conversation took a shift. The fact is I didn't have the sword and dad destroyed it soon after, so. What if I told you that the sword was right here? The flaming sword is Asriel's blade. Since when, always? Always. I thought it was going to be a more wow. wait, the wait. Oscar goes to Candy Morley stuff. You think they bought it? Oh. So my mother doesn't know what hit her, so thank you for helping me peek inside that scheming head of hers. After what you did for me in Vegas, you saved my life. That reminds me. Oh, no, 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 no. You keep that. Why don't you add this one to the uh, pot? I like this twist. But how's he gonna explain his quick divorce? Quick marriage, easy. Quick divorce, not so easy. What is going on with you, Detective Deckman? <laughs> it's none of my business, but 
I wouldn't screw that one up. I'm trying not to. I went night and I was looking for you. So Lucifer's plan with Candy was more for his mother. And repelling Chloe was a side benefit? And not the other way around? Hmm. So that's all I had. They went with making Candy blonde, exotic dancer, stereotype, stereotype, stereotype. It would have been interesting to see if they just made her not so Candy. If she's just a woman, like not just a woman. How do I phrase this? Okay, I get it that the idea was that people immediately put the stereotype of the exotic dancer were supposed to go like, what? How crazy, derision, derision, derision. I, it would have been funnier, I think. I think it would have been more interesting if she was a teacher, or maybe a lawyer, or um, a really good child psychologist, something that wasn't supposed to be so blatantly boobs in your face. Because I think that would have made Chloe fall into the stereotype also of maybe feeling very <laughs> not competitive. Oh, but that would, I think, driven the, the stake deeper into her heart. If Lucifer came back quickly married to somebody that was, was not so obviously, of course she married this person in Vegas type of a thing. So Candy not being the exotic dancer, being just an actress or whoever she was that needed some help and Lucifer did a favor for a favor. Fascinating. Love that twist. And I'm also glad when she was Candy, she had, she made it very clear from the start that she wasn't stupid. I'm trying to put what I'm thinking together quickly and it's not coming together as quickly as I want. But I think you see where I'm going with this. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. And the chat with Mama and Lucifer where you think she's apologizing, she's just being manipulative. I went to hell for you. And then turns it to, oh yeah, you, you know, were rebellion, but well, you were rebelling because you weren't armed. Like it wasn't the, oh, we're gonna forego rebellion. We've learned our lesson. Oh no, she's up in the ante. We've got a weapon. You've had it all along. Did not see. I should have known that conversation was gonna take that turn because I, we ha I guess we haven't, just when we think we've seen mom grow emotionally. <laughs> I guess she just can't help herself. She just can't help herself. But we've turned down the heat on the Lucifer Chloe relationship. We're moving on to, I don't know, taking down mom. I guess that's where we're going. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just have to watch and find out. So of course, please join me for that adventure. And until then, okay, because we've got lots of shows, lots of seasons of things dropping. So I don't know how Lucifer will fit in amongst everything that's dropping. But I want you there with me for those adventures. So if you haven't already, and I don't know why you haven't, please hit subscribe. So that way you know when the next one drops. Also, um, take care of yourselves. I don't know why I'm looking that way. I guess because that's the direction of the door. So take care of yourselves out there. Go get something to eat. Grab a glass of water and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.